think that the use of one's retina is extremely important. In fact, I think that without the use of one's retina, you would be struggle to be a presenter out here. Uh, I suppose it would be possible if Beethoven managed to write his Ninth Symphony, Stone Deaf. Well, it might be possible to uh, guide here without a retina, but I'm going to hope that Jamie maintains hers. An animal here that does not have a retina, <laughs> oh, very nicely linked that is, is this lioness of the Paradise Pride that Jamie mentioned. Now, she's been seen, as Jamie said, with the Paradise Pride and the Serena Pride, and it is therefore highly likely that those prides are offshoots of each other. Now, what that means, of course, is that they could be the same pride. They just got too big and they spend more time apart. We know that this happens. We've seen it many times in the Sabi Sand, for example. We've seen it happen in amongst the, um, which pride am I thinking of now? The Mangan pride, for example, down at Londolozi and the Shimungwe pride. They used to split up from time to time. So it does happen. So most likely that that pride is a, they're just offshoots of each other. Quite likely also that the Olololo pride and the Angama pride, as Brent and I were discussing last night, are in fact the same pride. Uh, they've just kind of split up and they may be called, you know, you might want to call them the Angama breakaway or the Olololo breakaway in the same way that you would do um, the Mangan pride, for example, down in the south. Right, we've got a quick minute left. I'm just going to tell you that Bra, uh, Brent is highing his way up here. We've got Jamie heading home from around here. Scott heading home from around here. I'm sitting over there. I'm going to make myself look like a lion. And we're all going to reconnoit or reconvene fairly shortly for a good meal. We will not be eating any wildebeest. They will be knocking around here. Right, well, that's going to be it from us. Thank you very much for bearing with us from our technical difficulties here. We'll be back entirely from the Mara this afternoon, which is very exciting indeed. So a big thanks to Scott, a big welcome back to him, but mostly, of course, a huge thanks to all of you who have bear on with us and will continue to bear with us as we take you through the journey that is the wonderful and magnificent Maasai Mara. I hope that you all have a very pleasant uh, day, afternoon, evening, wherever you happen to be in the world, and we will see you at 3 o'clock. Bye-bye.